morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. The time is changing, you guys. We're coming into fall. It's, I'm dark getting up. It's dark outside. The sun is just coming up. The challenge I have with the seasons is um, Arizona is south, is, is east, west, you know, north, south. When I go to work, I'm driving right into the sunrise. When I go home, I'm driving into the sunset. So that sun, I have to stretch my neck up so I don't get sun blinded. Anyway, you guys, we are doing the September hard push for weight loss. And today is weigh-in day. It's also a no dairy day. Protein sparing modified fast day. High priority on your protein today, you guys. Eat your protein first and keep your carbs as close to zero as possible. No more than 10 total grams today of carbs. Keep your fats, grams low, low, low. No more than 30 grams of fat and take a walk, you guys. Man, I am gonna be busy today. It's board week and today is the ramp up. I'm gonna be busy, busy, busy. Anyway, you guys, want to remind everybody that everything that you do the day before, sometimes two days prior, can affect your weight, water retention, any over-the-counter medications, inflammation if you have a flare-up, if you worked out too hard, if you do, did too much housework or too much work around the yard and you have sore muscles, you are going to retain water. And you can retain five pounds overnight, sometimes ten. I know that sounds crazy and bizarre. But it's true. Your muscles pull where, where they're inflamed. They pull the water to that inflamed area. So don't be surprised, you know, if you feel thinner. Like, I am feeling thinner. My clothes are fitting better. They're fitting differently. And that's the true gauge rather than that lion demon scale. That's for sure. Anyway, you guys, yesterday was a fast day. Harry and I both broke our fast with two, I had two protein spray modified fasts. I had six ounces of ground beef. I had uh, Melanie Hines from Princess Ninja and Keto's Honey Mustard Dressing Recipe. I had 10 ounces of sous vide steak that was excellent, excellent. Uh, we cooked it in coconut oil. Um, and it was the butter flavored coconut oil, so it did not have any coconutty flavor. It was yum dillyumptious. Collagen, three tablespoons, key two creamer. Now I had 2% carbs for a total of only five grams, 41% fat for a total of 48 grams. I had 57% protein for a total of 153 grams. I had a total of 1,107 calories. Harry had two servings of the Southwestern casserole made with the pulled pork that I cooked in my pressure cooker. He had one pound. He had 16 ounces of sirloin steak last night, you guys. And he said he could have eaten more. He would have eaten until he exploded, wouldn't you, Harry? Yep. It was cooked in the, it was seared in one tablespoon of the butter, coconut oil, collagen, three tablespoons key two creamer. He had 1% carbs for a total of three, 45% fat for a total of 55 grams. He had 54% protein for a total of 148 grams. His calories were 1,299. So you guys, Harry went to bed at what time? 2.30, I think. 2.30, almost three o'clock. He's extremely tired. He is on autopilot right now. I went down two tenths of a pound. I weighed in at 174.2. Harry went up six tenths of a well, pound. I know why I went up. You went up because you did lack of sleep. That, and I had to fill myself full of antibiotics before I went to the doctor. Oh, that's right. Let's go to the big board. That's right. You know, you're right. I totally forgot. Let's go to the big board, babe. You can explain about that. Yeah, because of the heart thing, they make me take... Um, four, isn't it? Like Four gigantic freaking... Amoxicillin. Yeah, amoxicillin is where I go, so that always makes me hold water. Anyways, um, plus I'm wiped out. Uh, I didn't have a chance to finish here. Oh, so, uh, just, put my, just put my weight on there. 
If I weighed that yesterday, we apologize and I didn't lose any weight, and he can correct that. Yeah, it could be my screw up somewhere. No, I think. You know. <clears throat> well, that's why we have the big board. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's an accumulative yeah. thing. Uh, so. Other than that, um, yeah, there's no. Because, shoot, come on, look what we ate. Look at uh, the protein. Yeah, it was all protein. And, uh,. I just went up. I think this is our highest average in protein for the whole entire week. Yeah. Because go back to Monday, that was 107, or how much was that? 151. 151 then, uh, and uh, then you had 189 here, 154, and 148. Yep. Yeah. Uh, here you go. Uh, can you write yours? Yours. Sorry. So here you had 174. That's yeah. why. Yeah. But if if I didn't lose any weight, here let's fix that. So mine is the same. 174 2 equals 0. Yeah, cuz when we look back and do an analysis, we have we keep that big board. We try to keep it as best as possible. Oh my gosh, you guys, that sous vide shake was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah, I couldn't stop eating that thing. He just could not stop eating it. Next time though, I won't use the as much uh, salt in the bag. I think it's better to save it until you're searing it and season it and sear it. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, you guys, I have to get out the door because it's time for me to go to work now. And you guys, I'm just gonna go exit stage left. See everybody at work tomorrow, uh, today. Bye. Bye. Well, you guys, I am at work and I've got a pretty light lunch. I've got my vitamins. I forgot them yesterday. Got my electrolyte and immunity in there. Real light. I have got boar's head ever roasted chicken it's the low sodium version and i've got some of my um, protein sparing modified fast italian seasoned bread and i have a cherry cola so anyway you guys i'm going to put this all in the refrigerator and i'm going to go downstairs and get a cup of coffee yes indeed i'm going to make it delicious well you guys there were two people getting coffee I actually stood in line, so I didn't get to film it, but I've got uh, pumpkin spice, stevia drops, a dash of cinnamon, a third of a scoop of perfect keto salted caramel collagen, and then just about a third of a scoop of the salted caramel uh, MCT oil powder as well, and just a dash of cinnamon to make it delicious. And you guys, I've got my vitamins today. Got to take them. Got to remember to take them. Anyway, you guys, hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys have your cup of coffee. You guys are sitting down and enjoying your day. Anyway, you guys, I have a very busy day today. So it's the end of the, it's the wrap up for a board and I've got a lot of things I need to get done. So I need to get to work now. Anyway, you guys, catch you in the next segment. pumpkin spice and everything nice. Well, coffee number two. Everybody's down here today, man, you guys. This is my number two coffee. Yes, indeed, there it is. Ooh, got some cinnamon, it's delicious.
hey, here we are again. Day two of the Bones Coffee Review. Now, yesterday, if you guys remember, we did, oh, wait. <laughs> I always come outside and come in to do this thing. Okay, um, yesterday was Jacked O'Lantern, which was, you know, this is really good. This is a pumpkin spice. But let's see how it does up against the one I chose today, which I just reached in and grabbed one. And we're doing Wonder Bones. Okay, this is the contender, right? All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two up and then we'll try them out. <clears throat> but before we get started, we need to open this bad boy up. Again, Wonder Bones, right? Okay. And I opened one of the. I, I, I opened up a thing of coffee once without shaking it down. Bad mistake. Don't do it. <laughs> Make sure you try to get as much of this stuff. Shake it down as you can, man, or you'll be wearing it. Be all over the floor. All right. Now for the big smell test. Ready? Oh man, like chocolatey as heck. At least that's what I smell. Um, this smells really good. It's funny when you first open it up, you smell this. this chocolatey flavor and then as you smell it again it starts to change a little bit this is going to be really really interesting man oh yeah all right all right so i'm going to mix these up don't need to show that on camera you guys know what it is it's 30 grams of coffee two 350 grams of water now if you're going to make two cups you just double that you know for your french press the french press i have wouldn't hold more than two cups so you know, here we go. And I've heard some people be daring and go ahead and use the grounds again. I've tried it. I just, it just doesn't have the same flavor, you know? So, but you can try it out and see. Uh, if you add things to your coffee, usually you can get, kind of get away with that. But I wouldn't do it a third time, man, no matter. Don't do it. No. All right. I'm going to mix these up. And then we'll decide. Can't wait. Okay, so okay, so the uh, jack-o'-lantern, we're going to do that one first because that's the first one we did. Push that down. And then for sense of taste, we're going to do them both the same way. So I'm going to pour them directly, straight out, and fill up the cup. Okay, now let's fill up the other one with the other cup. Okay, now let's pour the other cup. Exact same. Oops, this would help if I plunged it right. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and pour it. Okay, there's our two cups. Let's try them out. So, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is take a sip of the one from yesterday, which was the Jacked O'Lantern. And see how it is. I'll tell you what though, when you open this bag, oh my gosh, it's... <sighs> smells so good um, it really reminds you of like October you know because it's basically it's pumpkin spice right but anyways god my nose is going crazy right now anyways 
So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try this one out. Now remember, this is from yesterday. Oh, the smell is just fantastic. I mean, just the smell alone is, whew, all right. Oh yeah, still has that flavor as I did yesterday. Exact same thing. It's hard hitting, I like that. It's one thing I really like about this, it's hard hitting. I, now let's try the other one. See how it turned out. All right, here we go. Now this is the Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Bones, the contender for today, and let's see how it goes. Doesn't smell as strong as this as as the uh, pumpkin spice does, but it has some great smell to it, you know. It's good. Don't get me wrong, but I can tell you right now, hands down, uh, it's the jacked old lantern, man. That's the one I like the best out of the two. Oh yeah, there's much. I, I I like the flavor to this one much more. And you know, you guys might be a little bit different, but so far this is moving on to day two. This one, unfortunately, is not the winner. But gotta have a winner and a loser, right? So, yep, this one's going on for tomorrow. Whew. Tell you what, if I drank both these cups, I would be running around the house <laughs> yeah all right so i'm gonna just choose the one and guess which one i'm gonna choose to drink it's going to be the, the jacked o'lantern and this is the one i'm gonna probably finish off but first before i can do that we got to put the same amount of stuff in each one to see how they taste it could change the taste totally uh by putting the cream and the uh the stevia in there let's see Okay, so what I'm going to use is, is the Super Creamer in both these coffees, and I'm going to use the uh, Better Stevia. This is the organic. Okay, so let's see how they do. Now, I'm going to put in one, table, one tablespoon to each one, okay? Let's see if I can do this without spilling it. Okay. And then four drops of the organic. Okay. Always forget my spoon, man. Okay, stir it up. So the colors of these coffees look exactly the same, which is pretty much how I grade a lot of things. So it's got that blonde color that I like. Okay, so we're going to do the jacked old lantern. Oh, I like that. God, I really like that. I don't want to become partial to this during the test, you know? Okay, now for the runner up, I mean, runner up, I mean the uh, contender. <laughs> I can see a lot of you liking this over this, though. Well, it, you know, if you like to fix it up, because it's got a, a whole different kind of. Uh, flavor to it. I don't know how to describe it, you know. 
it's very they're bold to me these are, these coffees are really bold coffees I mean you know they are strong <laughs> okay um, that's why I'm only gonna drink one cup of this because and I can't drink them both it's just impossible yeah I'm still into the jacked O'Lantern so it looks like that's going to be the winner for today is the Jack to Leonard. Let's see how we do tomorrow, shall we? Okay, you guys, that's really about it. I got to get going. Got things to do. Enjoy your, uh, take my coffee. Enjoy your five-minute coffee break. And we'll try this again tomorrow with Jack to Leonard heading up against whoever I pull out of the box. We got three to go. So that's cool. All right. You guys have a great coffee break, and I'll see you later. I'm walking again. Got another 10 minutes. I'm trying to get as fast as I can. Anyway, you guys, it's 12 noon. I'll share with everybody what I brought today, but it's not very, it's not very special. No special lunch. Just a chicken sandwich is what I'm gonna make I'm gonna see if there's any like veggies I can throw on it I got my pickles maybe a piece of lettuce or two depending on you know what's happening when the boards here there's lots of food and stuff left over so I have some things I can pick from to make it more interesting anyway okay you guys don't forget move your body take a walk Yes, indeed. Okay, you guys, look at that. That is lean roast beef, low sodium chicken, tons of mustard, and horseradish mustard. And there's some pickles in there, way underneath this. This, this uh, roast beef was upstairs, and I got to have some, so I'm so excited. So excited. And of course, I'm having a, let me get it so I can see it cherry cola zevia but oh my gosh you guys look at this I toasted my bread now that that my friends is a sandwich yes indeed man Yum. you guys know what that means definitely gotta eat now what are you making? I'm trying out my, are you filming? I'm yeah. trying out my new pina colada, real light electrolytes, it's oh. pina colada. I am so excited. Well, that's right, you just got this the other day. Huh? Yes, I did, and I haven't tried it yet. And look, I used the knife safely. I know, don't get mad. Oh my God, you're in here doing a knife without Look, the I love, look, at little teeny scoop. Yep. Right into my shaker. Ooh, it smell this. It smells like, don't inhale the dust. Oh yeah, it does. Man, it really does smell like pina colada. This is exciting. Mm. I can give it a shake. Let me see this a minute. Okay, this is, can you zoom in on this, this square right here, this yellow square? Hold it real still. Okay. And then add one scoop of rheolite to 20 to 24 ounces of cold water. So this is perfect shake well for mixing. It's keto and paleo friendly, vegan friendly, no sugars, no junk. The ingredients are ancient sea salt, Redmond's real salt, GMO free, acidic acid, and natural pineapple and coconut flavors and stevia leaf extract. That's it, contains coconut because it's pina colada. I am very excited about this. And there are 50 scoops in this container. And you guys, we have a discount code below for all things uh, Redmond's Real Salt and the Rheolite. I've been doing the Rheolite Immunity that also has 
the um, electrolytes in it, but I wanted to try the pina colada. If you like pina, oh, sorry, got carried away. Let's have a drink. Ooh, wow, that smells good. Well, ah, yes. Does it really? Give me a little yellow umbrella to put in it, the cherry <laughs> on top, and really, yeah, it's mm. good. Here, taste it. Okay, take a taste. Sorry, there's lipstick on the. Li mm. uh, see, I knew it. Mm. I knew it. Lipstick. Oh my gosh! Don't you rub your shirt on it, buddy. I knew it. <laughs> well, it changes the taste. That's my favorite, right there. Well, it really does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Have a little umbrella. Pour that over shaved ice. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty good, huh? Yeah, I like that too. Yeah, I think that's my Which new Which is favorite. amazing, because... You're not a coconut I'm person, not a but coconut you keep guy. saying it, and you're, you keep drinking it. Hey, that's mine, buddy. If I didn't know better, you'd be oh, drinking mine. Wiped all my lipstick off. Yep. You guys, if I if I don't want Harry to do drink something of mine, I just smear my lipstick all over. Little lipstick prints on everything. <laughs> We're driving, and he's got his drink, and I don't have one, or he's brought one, and I didn't get one. I'll just grab it and take a drink, and I'll just set it back down. He's talking, driving. She does. And he'll, and he'll almost like spit it out because it's got lipstick on it. Yeah crazy. Tastes terrible. So what are we doing? We are making, uh, I, I'm running out of meat for tomorrow. We have our 95% um, lean hamburger, ground hamburger that we get either that or the rest of the pork loin. We've got enough of my protein spray modified fast bread. Yes, we do uh, for today. You guys, I get to work from home tomorrow. Woo! I That'd am so nice. excited. I am so jazzed. Done with stuff Today was the last day with board and stuff, so a lot of people um, are able to work from home tomorrow. So that'll be really... How come this is so wide? Wow. This is the wide one. Huh? That's the big one. Well, can we do it this way, even though it'll leak under? No. What's he's having it for? Harry has spoken. Yep. He said, no. What's the use of having it? Anyway, I'm going to trade places with him, because he is the chicken stacker onto the get ready for shoving it in the oven guy. So anyway, you guys, we'll come back when it's chicken thighs. Yes, indeed. Now what are you doing? You ready to eat yet? Well, I was seasoning my chicken and I opened up the organic Redmond's organic lemon pepper, which I've never used before. And I was looking inside at their, all the neat, herbs and spices and pieces of salt and stuff look at this okay look at the bowl okay can you see the bowl yeah so i'm going to share look at how oh, wow. look What's at the beautiful hunks What's in there? they've got pieces of lemon peel and they've got they have got all kinds of delicious oh my gosh let me see what's in here organic lemon pepper well, it's in white and yellow. I, I really have to read this. Let me go get my magnifying oh. glass. Man, does that smell good. I've never used it before. This is Ancient Redmond's Real Salt Organic Dehydrated Lemon Peel, Organic Black Pepper, Organic Dehydrated Garlic, Organic Dehydrated Onion, Organic dehydrated thyme leaves but if you look in here the pieces and then there's big old hunks look at this you guys they really have out this smells so good it just it just the flavor yeah it does it's, i'm gonna it's, put this back in the jar but it, you smell it. oh my gosh i love it i've now i love lemon pepper chicken and i thought well i have that i bought it right Yep. But man, I like that you fresh crack it too with the little um, salt cracker. Yeah. 
big old pieces going in there. Yeah, let's see. Really like that. Mm -hmm. Some of that on here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That'll make that crust just pop. This is for tomorrow, you guys. We can't eat this chicken today. Today's protein spraying modified fast, and I'm keeping my skin, making my skin really good for tomorrow. Man, that, that's, I like that. So far, Redmond's Real Salt has, is outstanding. Well, yeah, Byron's Butt Rub, so I love. It's totally different flavor than Redmond's. So it can go right along the Redmond's and it's a different flavor than all the Redmond's things that I've had. But I love the Redmond's. Man, is it good. Okay, let's get the chicken in the oven, Harry. Beep, beep. Out of the way, out of the way. Got my chicken thighs. Mm, gosh, that smells good. In it goes, boop. 30 minutes, uh, no, yeah, 30 minutes. While that's cooking, I need to make dinner. We have left over the rest of um, pulled pork. I've got some keto chow. I've got some bread. Do you want me just to make like a open faced yeah. hot pork That'd be sandwich? Good. Yeah, I know gravy. where you're coming from. Yeah. Now, do you want your, your bread toasted or do you want your yeah, bread? Yeah, I want it toasted. Sorry, I know it's an extra no, it's, step, but... it is just fine. I wouldn't have asked if I wasn't willing to. I just to. really like it toasted. I like it toasted, too. Oh, man. I love this Redmond's. The real light... Uh... Now, I wanted to share you guys the bread after see how the herbs and spices change the color of the bread and the little little light yellow spots are actually they are the nutritional yeast and the redmond's real salt in it show the label okay okay so anyway i'm cooking harry some bread two two or yes, three pieces two, two. You guys, I had that huge rare roast beef sandwich, turkey sandwich that I made. Oh my gosh. But I am full. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm not kidding. Full. That sandwich was this tall. It may have been this wide, but it was this tall. So I'm full. I'm going to make Harry something to eat though. So let me get a bowl. Here we go to our lovely counter. Let me get a fork. Mm, this sure smells good still. Oh, yeah. I'm just chopping up the pork a little bit better because we're going to make a like a. Um, pulled pork sandwich with gravy on it. And you guys, for those of you who are new, I make my gravy with um, keto chow beef soup base. I love it. It is made with beef bone broth and beef protein. One scoop is one third of your daily minerals and vitamins. So if you guys eat keto chow or you use keto chow and all of a sudden you're feeling like you've got a little bit more energy and stuff, it's because it has vitamins and minerals in it. It has one third, every scoop or every individual packet has one third your daily vitamins and minerals, which is so nice because you don't have to take more if you're having those. So. Just, that's just note to self. Made, uh oh. Uh oh. What's the matter? Won't come out. I made him pretty fat. Excuse me. Come on. Give me. There we go. Hmm. 
It's a bagel toaster, but I made pretty fat, pretty fat. Okay, let's fill up with some pork. And you can, I love this scale and you need to tell people where we get it because you can pull it out. If there's a plate or something involved, you can see really easily. And why is this stuck to the fork? I washed my hands here, I promise. Oh, I know. I know you did. You were right here. You were in my way when I was trying to wash my hands. <laughs> I want you to have eight ounces of you. Oops. Too much. It's all right. There you go. Good enough? Yep. Mm. Look at that. People want to know what this is. This is an OXO. You can get it on Amazon. Sorry, it's dirty. OXO. Let's turn it over and see if there's. Nope. I had a link. Well, yeah, you used to have a link to it. Well, I can only put so much up there. I got to eliminate things to put other things up, you know? Well, here. That's why I'm making a store, so. So I make one scoop, 14 ounces of water, about a uh, half a teaspoon of my Morton and Bassett poultry herbs, Mor Morton and Bassett. I love this brand. I love it. A little bit, just a dash of garlic, a dash of onion, and a little bit of Redmond's Real Salt. And you guys, we keep this in the refrigerator and we use it on all of our meats, especially protein sparing modified fastings. Now you guys saw this. It's an open face pulled pork sandwich with a little bit of gravy on it. Just a little bit. Now let's pop that into the microwave. Doesn't that look nice? Minute 30. Probably take it out before then. Anyway, you guys, while that's cooking, can you hear me? Yeah. Today is gone. Tomorrow, refuel your body today. Eat a higher end of your regular macros today. Stay keto and move your body. We, this is the day you have your salads, your cheeses. Maybe get a keto pizza with protein spray modified fast crust. This is where you want to have some cheesy hot pockets, protein spray modified fast hot pockets. This is where you want to have that big old bowl of keto chow ice cream that you've been missing. This is the day to refuel your body to get ready for the protein sparing modified fast. Stay within your macros, just go to the higher limit of your macros. Eat the food you missed, have a nice big cob salad, have some blue cheese crumbles, have a slice of avocado or two, some bacon with that, you know, great homemade blue cheese dressing, but make it your own. Don't overdose, don't go crazy. Use macros to figure out what you're having. Just eat a little bit more of that, you guys. Let me see how this is. Oh yeah, right there. Yes. Look at that. There it is. Ooh, pork. Open face pulled pork sandwich with gravy. Pumpkin, um, pumpkin spice. Mmm. Smells like Thanksgiving. I know. But I the know. gravy just smells like Thanksgiving. Oh, you Love didn't ask. It. You didn't ask me what coffee you won today so far. Because you know I did the second coffee. Yeah, what, how, what coffee did you guys do? I did, uh, um, gosh. Pumpkin Spice? Well, Pumpkin Spice is the one that won again. <gasps> well, of course, you because know. it's time. So and you guys, we had a little bit more. What, Wonder Bones, that's what it was. Wonder was Bones? Against it was Wonder Bones. What is it? What's Wonder it? Bones, I didn't like Wonder Bones as much as I did the uh, Jacked. Oh, Lantern. Oh, it's Jack O' Lantern, the spi pumpkin spice one? Yeah. Okay, will you make me some tomorrow? Sure. Will you make me yeah, a nice... De uh, well, yeah, because it's going to be going up against tomorrow's, too. Oh, Because so it was I, the winner. Okay, so I actually get one of your coffees yeah. tomorrow? Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to have you test Oh, I get to be the taste tester. Yeah. Score. Yep, since you're here. Score, 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 score. Okay, you guys. So be sure to watch tomorrow, you guys, because Wendy is going to be one of the judges. Woo! Anyway, you guys, you guys have seen what 
chicken thighs look like. They're in the oven, they're cooking. We're gonna go ahead and close this video out. Harry needs to get a good night's sleep, you guys. Everyone needs to get a good night's sleep, but Harry really does because he has a heart that's been damaged and we wanna make sure that Harry's okay. Oh, it's fixed now, it fixed itself. Sure, miracle. Uh -huh. We did. Keto diet. But helps without a lot. me sleeping, that's not good. It's not good for anybody. So we want to go ahead and close this out tonight. So you guys, please remember to like, subscribe. Pardon me. Woo. Start over. Anyway, you guys, we want to go ahead and close out. Oh, hi, Sal. What you doing, babe? You come to see yeah. everybody. She would like. She says I would like a piece of carnivore. Oh yeah. Uh, treat. Yeah, what, you, what are you going to give her? Get a little bacon jerky. Would you like some bacon? I think. Oh, yes, please. wonder if she could pull her own piece out. What do you think? Shit, she'll take the whole thing and run with it. What do you think? Oh, Is, that the one? Is that the one you want? Is that the one you want right there? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yes, chicken. She says, Mom, that was delicious. That was delicious. Anyway, you guys, we love carnivore uh, crisps and carnivore dog. It's human grade dog treats. This one is the bacon jerky, and she absolutely adopts. And you guys, Harry and I have both tried it. Oh, it's, it's delicious. so good. Oh, my God. It is. Ugh. I'm sorry, but we taste the food we give our dogs. Oh, yeah, we do. always. Yes, so. definitely. Okay. Anyway, you guys, where was I? Where was I, Sam? What was I saying? Okay, you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the little bell so you get notified every time we upload a video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up because that throws us out to the YouTube universe so other people like you can find us. Anyway, everybody, don't forget, we're giving away Perfect Keto Chocolate Chip Cookies. You have to go to this video where we're doing the giveaway we're doing it on Sunday. We're drawing the winner. You get to enter once. You have to live in the United States of America. You have to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Hashtag keto. Yes, indeed. Anyway, everybody, good night. Say good night, Sean. Can you say good night? Yeah, yeah, good night. Say good night. Say good night. Yeah. Yeah, there she is. That's how she says goodnight. It is. It's how she says goodnight.